guys, I'm at Sam's to do our monthly grocery shop and the sun was in my eyes so badly that I've turned around to talk to you. So I am going to take you in and show you what Sam's has today. If you don't like to shop, then go to the grocery haul. The bookmarks are in place so you can skip ahead. And if you like to shop as much as me, I am excited to take you along with me today. You need some back to school lunch boxes. There's some cute ones at Sam's on sale. They're $12.91. Cute little rainbow. Good price for lunch boxes. Watermelons. Another reason to grow your own food. $6.98. And they're so small. These are not great. The homeschool mom and me cannot say no to this aisle. All of the school things, all of the art kits, good prices. Paint set, my little girl would love that. All the things, colored bins. If you need a good pencil sharpener, this one's on sale. Minty green, those are on sale. My eight-year-old daughter would love this. Throw pillows. I am such a sucker for a good throw pillow. Let's see if we can get one. Oh, nope, not really. Yep. Oh, I like that long fall one. It's right there on the picture. That one's really cute. The fall sweet fall. Doormat, 1098. Here's some more pillows. I love the Hello Pumpkin. That one's really cute. I wonder if I can find it. This one says welcome. And then the other side, it has two sides, says happy fall. A walking llama and a walking dinosaur toy. My little girl loved these when she was a baby and she still loves them. She's two, all the Linkamoles. Lego, we love Lego. Jurassic Park, my son would love that. Friends Lego. Candy, all the bulk candy. If you are a prepper and you want to prep for chocolate, this is the place to go. This is a really good price. $4.91 for this huge bag on sale. I should definitely get that. Yes. $2.21, that's a pretty good price. $7 regularly. There's that prepping candy I was talking about. If you want to survive the apocalypse with some Snickers, you can pay $50 and <laughs> have this in your stash. I don't think this is something I need. So, but maybe you do. It's interesting. I love the bucket it comes in. Tortilla chips. We definitely need those. $4.34. Let's do some comparisons here. That is a pound. This one is $4.42 for the organic. Love organic, same weight, roughly. $2.91. That's the chips for me, and there's more in it. $4.91 for some mint clusters. If you're looking for that, it's a good price. My kids always want me to buy everything down this aisle. <laughs> Doritos. $4. Storybook stencils. This is cute. I can see my little girls having a lot of fun with this. I love the preschool and kindergarten books. There's so many cute ones and I'm sure my littles would love them. The Hershey's popcorn is $2 off if you like that. All of the good learning books. There's those comprehensive books I love and I used those last year. They worked really well for my children. My 11-year-old son would love this. I'm gonna have to get this for him. A great little comprehensive book for kindergarten. 
nothing wrong with using that here's another fun one my soon-to-be kindergartner would love this one i'll have to think about this one but i can see me getting this in the future <laughs> we love disney so i know she would love this all of the good books to learn all of the good things. I always want all of them. I have to look at them each time I come. My children would love this one about tigers. This would be another really good one for us. Just something fun to learn all of those zoology facts for school. I tend to look over the adult books, but do any of these look good to you? Are you reading any of these or have you read any of these? Do you recommend any of these for me? Let me know in the comments if I should be reading one of these Sam's Club books. I don't know. This is the one I'm gravitating towards. <laughs> the Farmhouse for Fall magazine. How cute is that? I feel like there's a lot of good children's clothes here right now. These are a really great price and some really cute designs. I'm loving this. I think my little girl would love it. These are a great price. They're actually cheaper than Target right now. Target, they're $5 each. I don't see the bag of frozen chicken I usually buy, so I'm going to have to buy that elsewhere. I always get the waffles. My children love these, and it's not a bad price. These are $12.98. And I feel like it's a good buy for these two packs. Bulk bacon has went up significantly. We just had our pigs butchered and that is going to be at the end of the video after I'm done with this. So stay tuned. These peaches are a dollar each. I'm sure they're fantastic, but ew. Okay guys, I've bought them, you've bought them. They're fantastic. Love them, but I wanna point out something. They are seedless grapes. God did not make fruit or vegetables seedless. If they're seedless, it means they're genetically modified which really isn't the best. The drumsticks are on sale. This is a really good price. Um, I don't think I want to get a lot of it, but I'm definitely going to get some of it. This is on sale too. All of the beautiful cheeses. We love a nice cheese on a cutting board with some crackers as a snack. Avocado salsa. I've never tried this before. I'm sure it's probably really good. Have you tried it before? Tell me in the comments if I should buy this. They also have mango. What's your favorite one? Now 
this I recommend for you. This I know is good. As far as preparedness goes, these are the things you want. This one's even cheaper, 25 pounds, $11. My favorite aisle, the coffee aisle, I want one of each. <laughs> I love coffee. I usually get this breakfast blend or there is a donut house one down here. And those are the best priced ones here, $29 for a hundred. This is a good price, it's on sale. I can't find the little cup to pour the coffee grounds in my Keurig or I would buy this. I need to buy another one of those and buy this. <laughs> there is an oatmeal sale for $3.91. It's over here though, that sign is in the wrong place. So I am going to open this palette and take two. Yeah, no, that's $12.48, this is three. $3.91. All the number 10 cans, pasta, really good prices on the pasta here. And the canned chicken is a little bit on sale, nothing too crazy, but not a horrible price. Tuna, always a good buy. Canned meats is always a good thing to have in your pantry. So I try to stay stocked up on that. My husband likes those. I'm not a huge fan. This, oh my goodness, the Spam is $5 off. My children would love those. They're on clearance for $10. Blankets, throw blankets, half price. These are really cute. I love the blue. This is my monthly grocery haul for August and I'm excited to show you the fun things I found today. And let's get started. Sam's was in full fall mode today. They had all of the fun fall stuff. So let's start with the fun stuff. So they had these really large mats and they're only $10.98. I think it's so cute. I'm so excited to put that at my front door. I think it's gonna look adorable <laughs> for fall. And then they had these throw blankets and I'm gonna call this fall because it, mine has an orange stripe. They do have yellow and one with a blue, but Magnolia Market has nothing on this. This is adorable. And they were half off. I've written all the prices on the items that I'm showing you today so that I can tell you exactly what they cost and not just a guess. So this was $9.98 marked down from 20. So half price and um, like I said, um, Target's Magnolia line, which I love by the way, <laughs> has nothing on that. It's really cute. So that, and as long as we're over here, the Lunchables were on sale today. They were $6.84. That's $2 off their normal price. I'll have them snack on those while we read and they will enjoy that. Next, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Oatmeal. I thought they were out, but they weren't. I found a palette. <laughs> so it's $3.91 a box. And if you watch the shop with me, the other brand, the Quaker, was much more expensive than this. And they're essentially the same thing. So my children will be really excited about that. Great price for 36 
pouches. And I got two cases of water and my husband wants me to share with you because he's usually in charge of carrying the heavy water and putting it in my cart <laughs> that the members mark brand for the same amount used to be under $3. And now this, they didn't even have the members mark brand, but this today was $4.58. So it's gone up in price, you know, still very affordable, but gone up. Something else fun I found today, the Neapolitan Lint Chocolates. This is the big bag. It's over a pound, it's pound three ounces. These were on sale. They were only $4.91 a bag, which is really good for Lindor chocolate, especially a bag this size. Like, see, there's my, my finger. <laughs> so it's a big bag for that price was excellent. So I got two and um, my children are going to be so excited that that was on sale. So, and I got the heavy whipping cream for $4.71. I cook with this all the time. It is a must have. And then butter was $14 and change. My change has rubbed off, <laughs> but I know it was $14. I think it was $14.58, something like that. This I thought was a really good buy. So these brats were $12.98 for a two pack. So there's two packs in there. And my children, we are a family of eight. If you didn't know that, that's why I buy so much food. But <laughs> my children are pretty little and they like to eat a lot of small, frequent meals. So they don't necessarily eat like a huge dinner. They just have 20 snacks throughout the day, <laughs> children. So um, some of my smaller children won't even eat a whole one of these. So really one of these is a meal for us. I will do a sheet pan recipe and throw, you know, some potatoes and some carrots and some squash and all those different things on there and bake it in the oven. And that's just such an easy dinner. So $12.98 for two dinners. And with that in mind, I bought two of them because coming up fall, it just sounds like such a fall meal to have a sheet pan recipe. So you'll probably see that on my menu soon if you've been following me there. And I got one lunch meat, it was $9.76. Always seems so expensive because my children eat it so fast, but they love it, so we buy it. <laughs> and I bought this pair of shorts for my husband because it was on clearance for $4.81 and I thought that was a pretty good price and they're pretty decent quality. And then my little girl was so excited to see that mommy bought her clothes. She loves clothes. So these were $10.98 for three leggings. And I actually had um, dark red and black leggings in my Target shopping cart on my phone to buy her this week and they were $5 each there. So for the same price, I got the exact same thing plus a pair. So Target's having a sale on leggings for $5 each, Sam's is better. So <laughs> $10.98 for three cute pairs. And they had other designs with winter and fall prints and such, but this just looked very my Hannah. So <laughs> I got that for her. And since we're talking about clothes, I'll go over here to this. This is also Miss Hannah's. This was $12.98 for two shirts. It had the white polar bear all sparkly. And then I forget what the said, but it was cute. Yeah sweaters, penguins, snowflakes, mittens, icicles, and scarves. How sweet is that? I'm probably gonna have to go back and get Miss Five the same thing, cause she's gonna see that and be like, why didn't you get me one? <laughs> so I'm sure I'll go back. And we have the first day of school coming up very soon. And my son loves dinosaurs. So I thought on his first day back to school, I would have this in his stack of things. It's a Jurassic World book. It's a junior novelization. So I love that. 668. And I think it's something he will enjoy reading. He's 11. So this is right on point for an 11 year old boy. So that's fun. And I bought two big blocks of sharp cheddar cheese because I cook with it all the time. And the sharp cheddar just comes through in those recipes. So I always get that. It was $6.98 a block. That used to be about $5 a block. So definitely has went up in price. This is about the same. I've always paid around $15 for this big mozzarella. So this is a five pound block of mozzarella and it was $15.98. So expensive, but it will last us a while. This was only bought because it was on sale and it was $2.21, which sounds really cheap when you're in the middle of Sam's. So <laughs> I thought my children would enjoy this. We are just wishing for cool fall weather. So we are decorating for fall and having hot cocoa and turning the air conditioner down and just pretending that it's fall. 
because maybe if we wish hard enough and we pretend eventually it won't be 100 degrees and I won't be sweating anymore so <laughs> I've already started decorating for fall if you see behind here and I will share that with you soon I'm not finished and I might finish up with you and let you see what I'm doing um not there yet but I have put out a few things like I said just feeling those fall vibes <laughs> like, um these are grown in our garden. By the way, I'm so excited by the acorn squash slash table squash, a lot like acorn squash, that's what we call it. Um, that did really well this year and I am seed saving everything from it to grow a lot next year. I'll be showing all that with you soon. Okay, but moving on, groceries, bananas. I forgot to write the price on the bananas. I believe they were $1.90 something, $1.91, something like that. So didn't do the bananas, <laughs> but I had to buy bananas for my monkeys. As you know, we always have to have those. This is amazing. Okay, $4.98 fried pickle ranch dip. If you haven't had it, get it. <laughs> it is so good. It is good. It sounds a little crazy. Really good. Yummy. Um, something you definitely need. <laughs> um, I bought the 12 pack of SpaghettiOs for my kiddos. It was $11.44. Good to have on my pantry shelf. And, oh my goodness, guys, spam. <laughs> it was the cheapest I have ever saw it on the shelf. So I stocked up. I bought three, and they made a little bit of a boo-boo with this, by the way. So I'll tell you about that so that you don't make the same mistake. I might ask them about it. I don't know if it's worth it. Anyways, okay, they are normally $21.98, $5 off each right now. That is fantastic. If you like spam, it is the time to go buy it at Sam's. So my first two rang up with the $5 off. My third one didn't. I didn't catch it when I was checking out. $5 off each though for that spam, that's really good. 16 anything whenever it's normally 22. Fantastic. So get your spam. <laughs> All right, the chicken breast. We have to have that on our shelves. It's one of those preparedness things, having all the canned meats, because if something went bad, if something happened to your freezers, if there is a tsunami, <laughs> you wanna make sure that you have what you need in your pantry. So I, it was $17.98, really good to have. We've been loving our chicken salad sandwiches all summer, but it also really does well in a casserole. Um, it's just really good to have. So tuna, we love our tuna sandwiches. We also love mom's tuna and rice casserole. I'm sure you've seen that around. Um, it was $11.74, not horrible. That was fine. Okay, back here. My little box has popped open. It is $12.98 for Frank's in a blanket. It says they are beef and pork in a puff pastry with Parmesan topping. My children will love this. <laughs> so it's something new, we've never had it before, but I thought I like to add a few different things for them to try and for us to try every now and then. So that, we love fish and chips for dinner sometimes. This was $14.48. My husband being Australian, I have sweet, sweet memories of living in Australia and going to the fish market or going to the beach in Sydney and going to the fish and chip shop. And this is reminiscent of that. It will never be as good as that, <laughs> but very good, 1448. Okay, State Fair classic corn dogs. The State Fair is coming up in Texas. We are so excited. So we are gonna have all the corn dogs. <laughs> we are so excited about the State Fair. We love it, we go every year. I don't know if you caught that video last year, but I'm sure there will be another one because it's just so fun. We love all the fun things. Okay, this was $13.48 for 30 corn dogs. Such an easy lunch for my kiddos. Had to get that. I didn't write the price on this either. Hmm, I'm sure it was in my shop with me. I want to say it was $4. Mm, this is why I write the prices. So, but interesting flavor. I thought my son would really like blazing buffalo and ranch. Sounds, it sounds like my 11 year old son. So <laughs> oh, I'm sure he will eat those. And garlic, I am growing all the garlic in my fall garden. I can't wait to share that with you either, but garlic grows throughout the winter and it won't be ready until the spring. So I need a garlic, I'm out. So I'm growing so much more this year and I won't be out next time, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> but I got the peeled garlic for $9.98. This is a huge bag for $9.98. That will last us a while. We love garlic, we use it often. Still will last us quite a while. 
So I got these for my husband when he, when he is in a hurry <laughs> and going off to work and I haven't prepped something for him. I like him to be able to grab something. Eleven fifty eight and two dollars off. So we got those for twelve. Um, you know, under a dollar each. He can't go to McDonald's and get something like that. So got that. I always try to get a box of waffles because my children adore them. Sixty waffles, nine ninety eight. I talked about Matt. All oh, right, over here. <laughs> so a little bit more of a peek at my fall decor. Yay, so exciting. My husband doesn't know about this yet. Tonight we are having hot dogs on the menu because we are having a family movie night and we are just going to watch our movie and eat our hot dogs, but not my husband. I'm gonna make him this. It was $25.75 for a 2.58 pound tomahawk. This is his favorite food in the entire world. He has watched the kiddos all day for me so that I could go grocery shopping and have a lovely day alone. He deserves this. <laughs> so he will be so excited. He is very loved. That, I'm excited about this. This was an awesome price. Five twenty nine dollars for how many pounds? 5.63 pounds. Really good. There's a lot of food here for a dinner. I want to make some freezer meals soon. Hopefully I'll get to share that with you. And I'm going to pack these all up into easy crock pot dump kind of meals. And I got two of them for the $5.29. Um, so like I said, there's just so much food there for that price. Fantastic. And really, if my husband has to work later, something my children will probably only eat half of one of those if I put some sides with it and such. So fantastic. Okay, corn, my family loves corn. This is a seven pound bag of corn. Yes, we are growing corn. No, it's not ready yet. <laughs> it was in my fall crop. The spring crop died. I don't know why. We've been having some extreme heat in Texas and I think it just couldn't pull through. But I have replanted it in my fall garden. So hopefully that does really well. I'd actually like to get out there and plant some more. But for now, this was, like I said, 9.98, seven pounds, not bad. Ramen. Again, always trying to be in a state of preparedness. I pack this away. I don't adore ramen as far as nutrition, but you know what? My children love it and it's just good to put away for a rainy day. Um, 13 78 for 48 packs. That has definitely went up a bit in price as well, but still really good. All right, I did a bit of a tortilla chip comparison <laughs> at Sam's and this worked out to be the best price. Not a huge fan of the red dye in here, but there's not that much. $2.91 for, what was it? 18 ounces of tortilla chips. I got two bags of those. My children love them. Um, olive oil was completely out. $16.98 for the um, 101 flowing ounces. So that, cook with it all the time. One of these to put on the shelf. Again, rainy day food, um, $8.48 for that. And then, love these. Such a good thing to have in my freezer because it's just so easy to add, add it as a side for a meal. This whole box, 30 pounds of crinkle cut french fries, $20.98. This is a really good buy. So that's gonna go straight in the freezer. A donut shop coffee because I have to have coffee. <laughs> I have to. So does my husband. A um, hundred pods for twenty nine ninety eight. This is actually cheaper on Amazon, and I'll link that below for you. I love to buy my coffee pods off of Amazon for that reason. Um, if you caught Prime Day, they were an amazing price. Um, but yeah, I'll link my favorite ones on Amazon below, but this was a critical situation. We were completely out of coffee and I cannot wait on Amazon. So <laughs> I bought some today. All right, and then the chicken nuggets, you know, six children, we have to have chicken nuggets. It's just a staple <laughs> for a quick, easy meal. Um, it was 14.48 bag for a five pound bag. Got two of those. And then my sliding down Grand's biscuits, they were six, um, 6 dollars for 38 biscuits. So that's just easy. And then I always like to get the coleslaw. We use this on everything. We top our tacos with it because it's $1.98 and it's a 32 ounce bag. So that is massive for what that is. Guys, so the most exciting part of the grocery haul is right here. We were given three pot belly pigs and we didn't need them on our farm, so we turned them into food for our family. And 
guys, this is so fantastic. So I'm going to give you a breakdown of the actual, the hanging weight, how much meat that gave out per pig, how much bacon we got per pig as per its hanging weight, and just the complete breakdown. This is a box full of lard, and don't be fooled. Those marketing schemes that told you lard was bad for your heart, it's actually the exact opposite. It is so good for your heart. It is full of natural vitamin D, and natural vitamin D can be very hard to get. So really good for you. We are going to render it, and I'm sure there will be a video coming soon. <laughs> I'm gonna render down all of this and you can cook with it the same way you would cook with olive oil or butter. And it's gonna be fantastic for my family. All of the soup bones, we do not waste anything. And there's more soup bones over there in that box. That is gonna be made into some really nourishing bone broth for our family this fall and winter. Like I said, absolutely nothing goes to waste. And then over here, my husband's absolute favorite part of this haul is the bacon. So, pot belly pig bacon, it's fantastic. And there is just pack after pack in this box. Really good. And then we got two kinds of breakfast sausage. I did not get any hams with this. I really wanted the breakfast sausage and the bacon. So we got mild and we got hot breakfast sausage. Here is some of it. This box is all the ground pork to be made into all the meals. And I got the smaller packs so that I had the freedom to defrost exactly what I thought I needed without over defrosting too much. I like the smaller packs. It also defrosts quicker when it's a little bit smaller. So I really prefer that. That is all of the ground pork. And this is some of the hot breakfast sausage. Some more soup bones are in here. And then more breakfast sausage and some more lard. Potbelly pigs are a very fat breed of pig. But like I said, that is okay. We aren't gonna waste it. We are gonna turn it into all of the fantastic things to cook with. So let's talk about these pigs. There was three pigs and there was two big ones and one little one that the two big ones never let eat. So <laughs> we had one small one. Okay, first pig, the hanging weight was 101 pounds. And out of that hanging weight, 101 pound pig, it put out 78 pounds of meat and 12.46 pounds of bacon. The next pig was 114 pounds hanging weight, the biggest pig we had, and it put out 84 pounds of meat. That was 13.14 pounds of bacon. And then our small little pig was 66 pounds hanging weight, and it was 49 pounds of meat. So even though it was a small little pig, it put out 49 pounds of meat and 6.54 pounds of that was bacon. So we have about 280-ish pounds of meat here out of those three little pot belly pigs. And I am thankful. I am so thankful for them and we aren't going to waste a thing. So this is hopefully a lot of meals <laughs> for my family. I am curious to find out how long this lasts us. I would like to think I could make that breakfast sausage last a year, but it's probably six months. We will get more pigs to grow out, usually in the spring, and we try to butcher in the fall. So I am now going to fit this all in the freezer and I am going to give you a freezer tour soon to let you see how I organize our freezers and what I keep on hand. Until next time, guys. Bye.